Good morning Year 4 and welcome to Wednesday's Home Learning. I hope you've had a good couple of days. It's been lovely to talk to some of you on the phone and to get emails with some of your work. You're doing really well. I've had some lovely work and I'm getting reports from parents of all the hard work you're doing and I'm glad to hear that you're enjoying the home learning and that's great to know. So today is a special day. It's the 11th of November, which marks Remembrance Day with the de for the marking the last day of the First World War in 1918. So today you are invited to join in with the Remembrance Service that's taking place at Hagley RC today um, with staff and the students there. So if you follow the link on the home learning page you can take uh, take part in that um, and listen to the readings and the prayers and so on and take part in the two minute silence at 11 o'clock and I'm sure it will be a beautiful service so I do hope you can um, take part in it. Okay, so today's maths lesson, you are going to be continuing with addition um, using four digit numbers. So again, just reminding you to make sure you keep the numbers in the correct column because that really is key when you're adding up. There's no exchange today, um, but one of the questions is a, a measure question. So just make sure that when you're answering it, you use those units of measure in your answer. Okay, in English today, you're going to continue with Girl and Robot film, but uh, today you're going to be labelling a robot. Okay, so using information boxes um, to describe the features of a robot so you can let your imagination run wild and think about what would it be really cool for a robot to do, maybe have laser jet eyes or something. So use technical words, there's lots of um, examples um, to help you. So use technical language and vocabulary where you can. And use connectives to expand the sentences to describe what it is that feature does. So um, you might um, use connectives such as could be used for, um, useful for, um, helps robot to. Um, so using those words that can help connect your sentences up, not just telling us what the feature is, but what it actually does. OK, so I'll look forward to seeing those. If you can't print off, don't worry, just draw a robot in the middle of your page and work around your drawing. In the afternoon, you're going to be looking at um, a remembrance teaching slides that Miss Robertson has very kindly put together for Key Stage 2. Um, and again, it's a really lovely slideshow that shows us um, why we respect and why we uh, remember the people that um, fought in wars, that helped um, in, throughout the wars, maybe not in a, um, a role of fighting, but also uh, people who stayed in this country and supported in this country as well. Um, and those who have fought in any war and some who very sadly lost their lives. So it's a remembrance for all those people. Um, so a very important day. And um, Miss Robertson has put together an activity for you to do some poems and you can choose what type of poem you do. Um, and I'm sure they will be beautiful to read. So I'm really looking forward to reading some of those and I hope you enjoy um, writing those. So in French, our last lesson of the day, you have learned in class how to ask somebody's name and how to tell somebody your name. Today, you're going to learn how to ask somebody somebody else's name, so a third person. So imagine you said to one of your friends, oh, what's his name, what's her name? And then you will learn how, how to respond to that as well, how to tell somebody a third person's name. So remember in French as well, it's key that we remember that il and that l, so that if children, if 
the child is a boy, you're going to use il. If it's a girl, when you're asking a girl's name, you would use l. So just remembering that and remember in the activity, when you have to fill in the speech bubbles, you have a word bank to use to help you. You can look back on the teaching slides, um, which will help you put together the sentences if you're finding it a bit tricky. And also uh, you can um, go back and look at the correct grammar to use. So try to get that punctuation correct um, because often it's different um, to the way we use punctuation in English. So remember to use your punctuation and remember that um, masculine and feminine ill and l depending on whether you're asking the name of a boy or a girl. OK, so a busy day ahead, year four. I hope you're looking forward to it. I hope you are able to access the um, service at Hagley RC and you enjoy that because um, uh, it's a lovely time for us to reflect on all that has been sacrificed for us today. Enjoy your day. Remember, you can always email me um, on the uh, year four email and I can get back to you any questions if you need any extra support please don't hesitate to email me and I can email you back and I look forward to seeing all your work um, and your beautiful poems I'm really excited to read those so have a lovely day year four bye